Welcome back to the Testament of Sherlock Holmes. Let's get back into it. We are going to be talking to the man, the myth, the legend, the rat killer, Hines. I think that's his name. There Look is. who is waiting for us. Shieldman, I'll go back and alert the guards. Calm down, he's harmless. But, but what is he doing here? Why hasn't he run away? Because I asked him not to. Are you telling me that you helped him to escape? Quite so, as he wouldn't have been able to do so alone. But how? Oh. And why? He's a dangerous madman. Holmes, you've made me an accomplice in this escape. You oh. owe me some explanation. And you will have them. But my priority for the moment is to remove our new friend to a safe place. I won't be long, but I must go alone. I'll rejoin you later. Just give me your next destination. Very well. I suppose you know what you're doing. That's How could you doubt it? Here, take the notes. They will help you when you write up the account of our visit to Westgate. So, where do I find you? Oh. Whitechapel, I guess I'll go to the The bathroom. next step of our investigation should take place in the Whitechapel area. Good. Go then, and I'll rejoin you there. Okay. Holmes, notes regarding the... Oh, gosh. No, we're not reading this. Let's go back to White Chapel. It's been a while since we solved the murders. Yeah, it sounds like seems about right. Here we are in the heart of White Chapel. Keep an eye on your wallet, Holmes. This area is the highest for pickpockets in all of the kingdom. Yep. Don't worry about my wallet, Watson. It would be easier to move Big Ben than to steal from me. Or to borrow a shilling from you. Amusing, Watson. Really very amusing. Can we move on to more serious matters? Of course you want to. So, what I'm looking for is a dispensary. Down here, maybe the way to the dispensary, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. Do you want more? Um. The hospital right here. Uh, dispensary. Here's the public dispensary you they're go. looking for. Okay, go in there. Go inside. There we go. God is truth. Okay, that's interesting. Oh, here's the doctor. Good day. Please excuse us. Oh, Grant, is it you? Yes. But wait a moment. Watson, Interesting. it's been years since the Faculty of Medicine, if my memory serves me right. Yes, Makes we were sense. young and ambitious. <laughs> I didn't expect to find you here. I thought you had gone to America. No, I find that I prefer the filth here, amputating gangrenous legs. Ah, okay. <laughs> I'm joking, Watson. Unfortunately, I was unable to leave for Washington. I had to give up surgery. So instead, I crouched down in this rat hole, rubbing Makes shoulders sense. with the world's misery. Grant, that treating those in need is a noble calling. You underestimate the importance of your work. If you say no. so. It's true that in the beginning I felt as you do, but as time goes by, the more this cursed area seems like hell. You think that nothing can get worse, and the next day you see that it can. Now famine has hit these poor wretches. One can't always do as one might prefer when one is a doctor. Grant, I'd like to introduce you to Sherlock Holmes. Pleased to meet you. Well, no one comes here by chance, therefore I imagine that you need yep. something in particular. We do. How can I help you? A scalpel. Dr. Grant, we are in possession of a scalpel which was found in an unusual location. Does it come from your dispensary, as we believe? From its mark, I'd say it was stolen from us. A lot of things disappear from here, you understand. Life is hard in Whitechapel. When the staff find a way of adding to their salary, Makes they sense. really hesitate to do so. Thank you, Doctor. Goodbye. Farewell, Doctor. See you soon, perhaps. And take care of yourself. I 
I suggested we go to the cemetery next to the public dispensary. Okay, we're gonna go to the cemetery now. Oh, the cemetery should be right here. Is that Solomon? So we're at the um cemetery now. What will we find? We will never know. Except a bunch of dead bodies and gravestones. This cemetery is the very image of Whitechapel. Sinister, frightening, and they don't have much money, so that's why terrible I... place for one's final rest. At least hunger no longer gnaws at That is true. Me there's got to be a well somewhere around here. Is this? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Right here. Let us see if the elements analyzed in Baker Street and this cemetery have something in common. Black and damp earth. Black and earth freshly turned over, still okay. damp. This dark, damp earth is the same type as that which was found so at the Bishop the of Knightsbridge's home. The worker is a grave digger as well. It came from a grave then. <laughs> what a lovely There's a thought. grave digger. <laughs> oh, shit, shit. This must be the grave digger's cabin. Well, judging by the state of this place, they don't work very often. Okay. We did that close. I don't know. Ah. Let us see if the elements analyzed okay. in Baker Street and this cemetery have something yep. in common. Black paint, granite. The same black paint okay. covers yep. these stones. Definitely was here. The same black paint covers these stones. These stones are of the same granite. This black okay. painted stone Ooh, is identical to the around. fragments found in the rope which we analyzed at Baker Street and in the footprints of the Bishop okay. of Knightsbridge's murderers. Makes sense. Can you find some rope? You find a rope here, then we are set, right? Okay, um... And there's the rope. Distribu distribution for 19 September. Through the generosity of Prince Woodville, a new distribution of sleep is being arranged within the Wright Chapel area. This volunteer voucher is valid for a meal on 19 September in any distribution area. Kurtz, don't forget to pick up the tool at the cemetery and don't be late this time. Great. A leaflet eight. for the soup kitchen. This leaflet is dated for the day after tomorrow. The tickets for the soup kitchen are given out on the same day. Only somebody who works there could have written on it. This shovel belongs to the cemetery workers. Mm -hmm. There's that rope. Let us see if the elements analyzed in Baker Street mm -hmm. and the... I think they do. This rope is only worn on one side. This rope. Okay. This the rope used to tie up okay. the Bishop of Knightsbridge came from this cemetery. It is only worn on the one side because it is used to lower coffins into graves. Everything coincides. Yep. Awesome. The fragments of granite at the bishop's home came from the tombstones of this cemetery, as well as the rope that was used to restrain the poor man. One of those so used one to of lower the coffin. I can think of only two reasons why anyone should happen to spend a great deal of time in a cemetery. Either he is at rest here, or he works here. At least one of the bishop's murderers is employed here. A shame. Okay. If he was at rest here, it would have made our job easier. Yeah, okay. 
There's one, but I haven't. Impossible to open it. Did we go to the soup kitchen now? Impossible to open it, but I have pocket money. Closed. Impossible to open it. Okay, so um Yeah, I just warm out here. Who he works here? Buy more flowers, my lord. Now I need to find a soup kitchen. Which I'm going to assume is right down here. Because of other reasons. Like everyone else. Then only I are the first one anyway. Oh, right there. Any White Chapel Street. Okay, let's see. White Chapel's. Let me go see. Somebody's down here. If we find a soup kitchen, I would be able to, um. White Chapel. Okay. Nothing of interest here. So I need to find a soup kitchen. Is there a constant walking? No, oh, wait, wait. It's the last bread shop open in the area. <laughs> Sorry, the market is closed. There's no more produce. Okay. A lot of foreigners mm -hmm. have opened shops in this area. Okay. Here is this. A circulating soup kitchen. Oh, okay, we should talk to you. Oi, oi! We're giving out free soup after mass. Right here. Don't hesitate. Come get yours. Oh, All okay. thanks to Prince Woodville's kind generosity. A ticket for a hot bowl of bacon soup. Excuse me, my good fellow. Yep. You don't look like the needy. We're not here for the soup. We're merely passing through. But I would like to commend you for your good charity. Yeah. Nah, it's the Prince of Woodville who's the charitable one. All I'm doing is filling the bowls for the first time ever in this area. Someone's thinking of the poor yeah. people. Look around you. At every street corner, you'll find someone giving out soup just like me. I grew up here, and I can promise you, it's the first Sounds time right. Toss yep. have thought about us. And no one tries to take advantage of this? No, mister, that's not possible. You have to exchange a ticket against the bowl. The tickets have the day's date on them, and are handed out after mass. That way, no one can cheat. Okay, great bait. A bowl of good bacon soup isn't for you, gentlemen. We're looking for two people called Grape Ape and Kurtz. Do you know them? Can't you see I'm giving out soup? Goodbye. Yeah, goodbye, mister. Okay, you are suspicious. On every street corner there is someone giving us soup. This is gonna say White Chapel, right? White Chapel. Maybe, oh, oh, oh! I see something. I can investigate. You ain't from around here. You shouldn't stay here. It ain't healthy. Yeah. White Chapel. This is gonna say White Chapel. Oh, here's the ship man. Nothing of interest here. I gotta figure out what's of interest though. This is this white chapel. White chapel. Oh wait, oh wait, um Who was this? Just you wanna tell me about White Chapel again? White Chapel. Let's see. Hmm. Nope, I don't care anymore. White Chapel. Mm. 
Mm. Holmes, the man from the soup kitchen isn't only in voluntary service. Look, a money game. Aren't you going to leave me alone? Can't you see I'm busy? Money game? You again. You can't have any soup. You're too rich. It's for the poor, not the toffs. Okay. And what would you say to relieving two toffs of their wallets by giving them a chance at a dice? <laughs> With great pleasure. What do you want to bet? Your ring against my friend's superb silver watch. Holmes, I inherited this watch from my brother. It has a great sentimental Don't worry. value. Watson, show your watch to our friend here. Done. Make yourselves at home. All right, mister. Oh. First who gets 36 points wins. Let's see. Do. Okay, I should probably roll a little bit more. I'm only in the lead by six. Okay. But that's fine. I just have to win the money game. That's 16 right there. Point three. That's pretty wise if I say to myself. Let's see if I can win on the first sure. row. Okay. Roll. Let's see. Right. I need just two points. Sometimes he doesn't get five. Without success, Holmes. Okay, let's try again. The second try is a charm. Let's just roll. I'm at 28. <laughs> oh gosh. So I have my cheese for the second time around. Okay, let's see what he gets. He has got so many points right now. Uh -huh. There we go. Perfect. Yep. Aren't you gonna leave me alone? Can't you see I'm busy? I we win. Hey, not so fast. We'll play a game. Out of the question. You have lost. You owe me your ring. Oh, it means a lot to me, this ring. My dad gave it me before he died. He choked on his own uh -huh. glass eye. My mum didn't get over the shock of it. And she killed herself. Then we get some smashing her open with a wooden leg. Oh. And she'd only just heard that my sister, who's a prostitute, had caught an embarrassing disease that made all her hair fall okay. out. And worse, <laughs> our dog got run over when he... As this ring holds such sentimental value for you, I will allow you to keep it. What would you say to exchanging that against some information about Grape Ape? That seems like a fair deal, don't you think? Yeah. Grape Ape works with us. He usually deals with the tickets, but we haven't seen him for a few days. Where is he usually to be found? Well, last time I saw him, he was with his mates from the dispensary. Then the deal with the morgue. Now, that's all I know. It is quite good enough. Keep your ring, my good man, as a souvenir of your poor father. A souvenir of me dad, me mum, me sister, and me dog. Morg? We win. Oh, frick. Uh, I did not mean... Where is he? It... I mean One morgue. further thing. You said that Grape Ape's friends work at the morgue. Which, Which morgue? morgue? The morgue at the dispensary. I must say, they got a funny job. They wash the dead, dress them, cut their hair. They clean the blood off the floor. Chase the rats, stamp on the cockroaches. Yeah, that's what I'm about, right? Mister, I can tell you, I prefer giving out soup. 
There isn't a certain Kurtz amongst the employees. Listen, we didn't play for info about the whole city. Uh -huh. I'm not telling you anything else. The dispensary has got its own morgue. Interesting. Well, yeah, I've just told you so. It's the one that all the undertakers prefer. Think about it. It's just next to the cemetery. That makes sense. Thank you, yeah. my good man. Goodbye. Goodbye. Yeah, goodbye, mister. So let's go talk to the doctor again. About the dispensary. How can I help you? The morgue. Tell me, Doctor, do you have a morgue in your dispensary? Yes, it is the busiest place in the building. We would like to see it. The door at the far end. The one with the unpleasant smell. <laughs> Makes sense. Very good. Okay, but it's Farewell. the one that has see dead. See soon, perhaps. The one Take that, care of yourself. The one that has a lot of dead people. <laughs> Look, uh, Holmes. A list of the recently dead. That is really How sad. sad. Hmm. I see names that have something in common. Let me go look at this word. Most of deaths. Sarah Ferguson died of mal up. Oh. Yep, a lot of people died from malunition. I understand now why my colleague keeps quiet about his morgue. Concentrate, Watson. Yep. We must look for clues about Grape Ape's friends. Yep, we... Oop, there's something right there. Kurtz. This is Kurtz's overall. So he really does work at the morgue. Strange that he left his overall here. Holmes, this is Kurtz. We've just found one of the Bishop of Nicebridge's murderers. Okay. I need... Oh, 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 okay, uh, we need our knife. I need some. Is there not, okay, I need... I need something. Okay, we don't have what we need. Ah, oh, there we go. State of the instrument. Yeah, okay, there we go. Perfect. Okay. Two keys. A small metal stem. Well, well. This Kurtz was carrying a lot of things. Yep. Okay, anything else in here that I... I guess go out. But guys, this is where I'm going to leave this episode off. See you next time my ghost bye bye